everybody. Peyton Manning was recently in the news. He had neck surgery. He had a pinched nerve and just had some pressure relieved. But it got me thinking. I started thinking about Peyton Manning and the Colts losing the Super Bowl and how the week leading up to the game, all you heard about was Peyton Manning being the greatest quarterback of all time. A lot of people had Peyton's name written in pen as the greatest ever before the game was even played. But now that they lost, where does that leave them? What are Peyton's chances now of being the greatest of all time? Is it even possible? Now before you dismiss that and say, who is this guy? Of course it's possible. Think about this. Most people consider Joe Montana to be the greatest quarterback of all time. Joe Montana was undefeated in Super Bowls. He was 4-0. He threw 11 touchdowns and no interceptions in those games. He's the only three-time Super Bowl MVP, and he's known for being the best and coolest quarterback in the biggest games. That's a lot to overcome. And Peyton just threw an interception for a touchdown in the final minutes of the biggest game there is. You can't downplay how big that is. And losing a Super Bowl is huge. But Elway lost three of them. And some people consider him to be the best quarterback of all time. Elway proved how important a final impression is. He won two Super Bowls in his final two years. He was named Super Bowl MVP in the final game he ever played. If that's not going out on top, I don't know what is. Before Elway won Super Bowls, people said, he's good, but he's not great. He can't win the big game. After he won Super Bowls, a lot of people said, he's the greatest quarterback ever. It's funny how that works. Peyton still has a chance to end his career on a high note also, but Peyton's not just chasing those two. He's also chasing Tom Brady. Tom Brady's just been better in bigger games than Peyton. He's got two Super Bowl MVPs, and he's got three rings to Peyton's one. Like it or not, that's how quarterbacks are judged. Rings just hold more weight than numbers. Ask Dan Marino if that's true. Now, that doesn't mean that Trent Dilfer is a better quarterback than Dan Marino. Let's not get too crazy with that. But if you're talking about two elite quarterbacks like Brady and Manning, they both have great numbers. Using Super Bowl rings isn't a bad tiebreaker. Peyton's still a great quarterback. He's got four MVPs, a Super Bowl, and most importantly, he's still capable of accomplishing so much more. So yeah, Peyton's still capable of being the greatest quarterback of all time. But after that loss to the Saints, he's got his work cut out for him. I'm Brian No, and that's a no-brainer. Thank you